Hey what's up guys, Andy here from Grusty Plug and thank you so much for joining me for today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a some sort of video response to other YouTubers who've been doing the 10 year challenge, a play a game that you haven't played in over 10 years. And whilst I'm not doing this as a kind of direct response to anyone in particular, uh, I'm just putting this out kind of globally as a generic response to all the guys uh, who've been already involved with this challenge and just joining in for, uh, for a little bit of fun really more than anything else. And the game I would like to revisit and talk about and share with you guys today is of course Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1. For me personally, this is one of the top 10 games I have ever played on any platform, any console. Um, it is quite an amazing game in that aspect. And before I really just jump into the kind of the main um, substance of this video today, uh, which ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, let you to experience the kind of the raw gameplay uh, of, of this game, so without any commentary. But before I get to it, I would like to just kind of spend a little bit of time, uh, a few minutes or so, just to talk about the, the history of the game and also about my personal history with the game. So Metal Gear Solid was a successor to another two Metal Gear games uh, in the game series and the first game was called Metal Gear and the second game was called Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Um, the early two games were orig originally released on the MSX2 system in Japan uh, way before um, Metal Gear Solid came out. And Metal Gear Solid was first released in Japan as well on September 3rd 1998 followed then by the North American release on October 21st the same year and then by the European release on February 22nd 1999. It is my understanding that uh, the Japanese release and the European release uh, had kind of like a just standard release and also some sort of like special edition with extra goodies included. I'm not fully aware of these special editions so I'm not really in position to talk about them today but that is my understanding that there are some special editions available and I certainly will be seeking them out at some point to add to my collection. And thereafter, on June 25th, 1999, uh, the game saw another release in Japan called Metal Gear Solid Integral. Uh, it is my understanding that actually the original Japanese release had some uh, content, not necessarily missing, but it was just uh, wasn't there. And then when they released the North American release and European release, then they have kind of added extra content in into the game. And they went back and re-released the game in Japan to basically compensate for uh, the missing content that was not originally planned for this game. And then uh, after that there was also a PC version released um, in late 2000 and it became available in North America, Europe and Asia markets. And I have never personally uh, played the PC version but apparently it was you know enhanced a little bit more uh, in a way especially you know graphically. Uh, but uh, it is my understanding also they had to you know take out some actually crucial uh, gameplay aspects uh, from that game because some things that uh, were included in the PlayStation version were actually kind of exclusive to a PlayStation platform and hardware specific so uh, that couldn't be transported obviously over to PC version so they had to make some amendments but I haven't played the PC version so I, I, I cannot really uh, comment at this stage whether you know um, it actually takes away anything much from the game or not. And then of course uh, there was an official remake of the game called The Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, um, which was actually developed by Silicon Knights and that game was released um, on March or in March 2004 uh, for um, GameCube, for Nintendo GameCube. I have never played that game so far. I really would love to play that game and it's been on my hit list for some time. I've been kind of seeking out for the game but I haven't really come across a, a good enough deal to buy it but I probably will end up um, getting it from CX or from eBay one day and it is my understanding that the game was um, remade by uh, kind of using the PlayStation 2 graphics so to speak uh, so I really would love to experience that game and, and, and you know play the game with the better visuals. As far as my personal experience goes with this game, I got introduced to this game very late 1998. Of course at that time the game wasn't officially available in the PAL region but uh, the piracy was quite rife in my country at the time and because the game was already available in North American uh, region it pretty much uh, found its way very quickly to the local market in, in the kind of pirated um, variant. 
I personally didn't have a PlayStation console at the time the game was made available and um, the way I managed to kind of experience the game and play the game was at my friend's house. He managed to get the hands on the game uh, well before me because he had a console already at that time and um, he basically invited me over to play the game at uh, evening times in uh, at his house. I was studying at the time and um, the way I was working it basically after my studies every second or third night I would go over to my friend's house and, and play the game for about a couple hours or so. So it probably took me about two weeks or so to actually beat the game but it was uh, an incredible experience it was such a, a phenomenally um, exceptionally good game to experience at the time of course the first two games were kind of like a 2d games and you know when we came to metal gear solid uh suddenly we are introduced to this like a 3d world and and the three di three dimensional game and uh, amazing dialogue amazing cutscenes, amazing gameplay amazing story so everything was kind of cemented together really well so i think they've done an exceptionally good job and some features in the game which i'm not going to really talk about today were kind of like off the charts um so i'm probably going to make another video at some point to talk about some incredible features that this game had back in the day uh but yes it was an um, amazing experience really really truly amazing experience and then by kind of mid uh, 1999 summertime I actually had bought my own console and one of the first games I got for my own PlayStation was a Metal Gear Solid and I remember replaying it pretty much straight away and then playing it again and again so I played it I don't know umpteen times um, from A to Z basically and it was every time I just went back and I, I couldn't get enough of this game it was such an amazing experience and it truly was just not just simply a kind of a game it was actually a, a piece of art I would go as you know as far as until it was a piece of art and probably the industry agrees with, with that statement or would agree with that statement because if you look at the kind of the game's history it is regarded as one of the greatest and most important games of all time and uh, it's regarded as a game that completely changed and reshaped the stills genre so it is absolutely incredibly uh, phenomenally good game and if you look up the uh, any reviews from that kind of era uh, you will see that this game got pretty much all the top marks pretty much 10 out of 10 across the board um, so it is incredible experience even for today's standards it's amazing and um, especially if you have never been in the sony camp and if you have missed this game and have never played it i strongly urge giving this game some attention and time and to play it at some point in the future because it is absolutely a fantastic piece of gaming history and uh easy way probably to play this game nowadays is uh, or, or would be on on a pc because it is an older game it's freely available in a public domain now um on the pc platform so that's one of the easy ways to play it but ultimately if you want to experience it in its true form then it would have to be a playstation one experience okay now let's have a look at the segment from the game and i'm trying to just kind of capture the essence of the game and present it to you guys and i hope i will succeed and i suppose i need to make a quick disclaimer here because i am playing the playstation 1 uh, variant of the game but i'm playing it on my pc through retro arc emulator so uh i'm not sure how much it takes away or adds to the kind of original experience but uh as long as uh, or as far as the visuals are concerned i think it's pretty good and um i i can you know kind of vouch for the game myself because um as you seen in the early uh, or opening scene of the video i was uh, loading this up on my 21 inch uh, crt tv and uh, it actually looked really really good for its age and that's one of the things i would like to just quickly add if you are going to experience this game in its original form then it definitely would have to be crt tv rather than a modern tv because i think uh, the game actually looks much better on um, crt technology than kind of hd or 4k tv but uh, let's just jump in now and experience the game um, for a little bit without any commentary and then I'll come back and just sum up a few things. Naomi, the chief, what happened? I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. 
You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. 
Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis.
Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand!
And there you have it, that was a little segment from Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1. An amazing game, and as I said earlier on guys, if you haven't really played this or, or missed this back in the day, then I strongly recommend picking this up and playing, because it is an amazing game, it's an amazing piece of gaming history, and um, yeah, the game is just, just, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant, the whole story is just amazing, the gameplay is brilliant. Um, so there's so much uh, good stuff in this game, so it's unbelievable um, that they managed to pull it off all these years back. But uh, yeah, it's a first, um, first class production from Hideo Kojima. One thing I kind of quietly hope for is that this game will um, receive um, a kind of a current gen remake. I know that obviously they remade it on um, GameCube uh, back then, but uh, I really hope that they're going to do another remake at some point soon. I'm not sure whether it's going to happen or not because um, I believe there are some uh, politics between uh, Hideo Kojima and uh, Konami nowadays and there's some problems with IP or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm, I really need to look into the kind of full story there, but um, who knows. But anyway, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this remake will happen one day. And that would be absolutely amazing to see this game re-released, uh, at least in kind of like PlayStation 4 um, graphics or even maybe with uh, PlayStation 5. Speaking of remakes, there's actually was some sort of like a, a fan-based attempt to remake uh, the game in early 2016 um, by using Unreal Engine 4 um, graphics, but uh, I believe that was shut down kind of March time 2016 by some external pressure from Konami I believe um, it's the, the kind of the story is a bit sketchy I kind of read into it a little bit but there's no concrete details but I think you know that's what it was that um, there was some legalities they couldn't get off the ground and ultimately they had to pull the plug on a, on a project but there is a kind of a introductory trailer or, or teaser available on YouTube so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the link down below in the in the description section so you can have a look yourself and speaking of um, Unreal Engine Engine 4, there's actually also an um, introductory video remake with Unreal Engine 4, which looks absolutely phenomenally good, and um, I'm going to link that one as well, and if you watch that one, that potentially gives you an idea what this game could uh, look as a very minimum if it was remade today, so uh, that's kind of uh, a little bit for eye candy there. But that's it guys, thank you very much for um, tuning in today and I shall see you in the next one very soon. Take it easy.